Well, this week the Confederates are changing the rules of war. They're starting to kidnap generals. Hello and welcome to Civil War in Hindsight. And I'm Lieutenant Tommy. With me, as always, is Prospector Johnny. And Johnny, we're going to have uh, two episodes back to back uh, of information uh, because hey. the oh, messenger. Just did this no, one. we're going to do two separate ones, but we got the messenger oh, got okay. shot on the way okay. and we got to redo it. So telegraph wires got cut. Well, I, I, yeah, my tin can for recording got stepped on by my donkey, and so it, I had to get a new one, and that took some but time. But we're back. We're back. Uh, regularly scheduled coming up as we are, but all the way back on March 6th, Johnny. It's a rather quiet day. The only thing to report here is a skirmish on the White River in Arkansas, and it was very brief skirmish. Oh, okay. And just some bored soldiers taking pot shots at each other. Anybody die? It's, no, it's, nothing. It's, Maybe a couple people injured and died of their wounds, but we don't no, care. We're under 100, so I'm not going to report on it. On the 7th, Johnny, uh, General Banks uh, moves. These are adding up, by the way. Overall numbers, these are all these little oh, they're adding, they're adding up. up. Oh, I'm not like saying they're not adding here, up. 20 there, I'm just saying I'm not here. counting them. Uh, okay. Well, somebody is. Hopefully. Maybe. I, not the Confederates. I know they're not counting. <laughs> well, no. Who making cares that about shit up as they go Bunch along. Of traitors. Uh, on the 7th, General Banks moves his forces from Nolens north to Baton Rouge uh, towards Port Hudson in an effort to cooperate with Grant's movements towards Vicksburg. Idea here is to uh, distract the Confederates and hope that they move some troops from Vicksburg to come down to, uh, you know, the Baton Rouge area to deal with uh, Banks. Just pull try some, to pull, yeah. some, pull some folks away to make it easier yep. for Grant. On the... Okay. A little, uh, a little, little distraction. distraction. On the Dirty Rebel front, Kirby Smith is going to take command of all troops west of the Mississippi, which honestly can't be that many because the only stronghold on the Mississippi like left 50? for the Confederates <laughs> is Vicksburg, which is on the east side of the Mississippi. So, I mean... Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe those folks out in, what, New Mexico or California? Well, yeah, or the New that, Mexico uh, territory, uh, yeah, yeah. He's in Texas. charge of them now. I guess he got Texas. So they don't do anything. Uh, and the two battles hey, that we've had there in you Texas... Go. Don't mess with Texas. Yeah, all because they're not a part of this. Two hundred. <laughs> nobody really cares. Soldiers that fought in Texas so far. You're like, yes, yeah, nobody cares about Texas right now. On the eighth, Johnny, we do have some bigger news as dirty rebels are changing the rules of war. Yeah, at Fairfax what? County Courthouse in Virginia. While U.S. Brigadier General E.H. Staunton and his garrison lay tucked away in their beds, they were tucked away in, in the, on, on the August night, sleeping. You know, sleeping, they, yeah, snoozing. Get a little cozy, get, get a little, cozy. Get a little warm, a little, cause, little straw cause beds. We got, you know, we're in camps and we got beds and cabins and all kinds of fun things. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Be, yeah. It's nice it's being on the, on the, yeah. on the winning side. Uh, a group of 30 Confederates, Ish. Johnny, uh, which are raiders led by Captain John S. Mosby, are going to enter the town and reach <gasps> the general's headquarters. I, yeah. I know you're thinking, how they reach General's headquarters? They are I'm aided. Sick of the, no, I, I, oh. what I'm, no, what I'm thinking is I'm sick of these freaking raiders who are just land pirates yeah. coming in and at playing war and messing shit up and just doing whatever the hell they want. Uh, that's that's, what, that's yeah, what I was, was thinking. Yeah, land pirates, and that's what they're doing. Uh, do something about them? <laughs> these land There's pirates. Thirty people. Johnny, these land pirates are going to be aided by James Ames, who's a Union deserter, so find that guy and lynch him, because uh, uh, get out of... Well, get the hell out of here. You haven't named that rhymes. You James idiot. Ames, yeah. Uh, they're going to capture General... That's terrible name. Johnny, they're going to capture General Staunton in his bed, and then they're going to flee the city. They take with them two other captains and 30 men total prisoners between the three officers and the other men. 30 men prisoners. What? So 30 men capture 30 dudes. Off the bat. Fight back. Something? Do something? Yeah, what do you Anyways. do? I, they caught you with your pants well, down, maybe, apparently. Is so, they, like, so, 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 allegedly. Allegedly. Yes. <laughs> when Mosby goes into uh, General Stanton's room, Mosby goes in there, Stanton's asleep. Stanton's apparently sleeping yeah. pantless with his bare ass exposed. Because, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, I'm not, yes, that's not alleged. Yeah, that's, I sleep, that's not alleged. Dude. I get that. That's fine. I'm not. I'm of not. Course. I'm not disparaging him for sleeping naked. But apparently, when he's naked, ass up, exposed, uh, Mosby slaps him right on the rear end. Just pow! Wakes his ass up. Stunts like, oh, what the hell's going on? Who is this? What? What's going on? And uh, and Mosby goes, he's like, I was kind of into that. <laughs> 
do it again. Mosby goes, have you heard of uh, of Captain Mosby? And uh, Sean's like, yeah, we're, did you guys capture him? We're, we're searching for him. Did you get him? I'm Mosby. Ah, shit. Can I put some pants on? Yeah, you know who... You know who reported that? Mosby, yeah. Mosby did. That's sure. bullshit. That didn't happen. I'm just reporting to what... It's just a I'm just freaking reporting what, liar. Uh, yeah, to... what report... Nobody chooses to believe it, though, because it's still a funny story. It uh, nothing else. It's a funny story. I don't care if it, it happened or not. Story. It's a funny it's a story. story. So they're resorting to kidnapping well Johnny. Uh, on the 9th, the Union are going to float another, as they are now calling these, Quaker gunboats. These are barges decked out to look like gunboats that have nothing on them in front of Vicksburg just to see what the Confederates ah. do. And the Confederates shot at it and sunk it. And you could hear the cheers from the fort like, woo, we did it! And the Union guys are giggling going, <laughs> you just wasted oh, ammo waste that you don't ammo. have. So we'll just keep doing I mean, that's a good tactic. Just keep doing that until they're all out of shells. I mean... It's going to take, what, three more days? If we keep, if we keep <laughs> it up, so there's that. Uh, on the 10th, uh, federal troops, mainly comprised of free men of color, Johnny, uh, they're going to reoccupy Jacksonville, Florida. Unfortunately, what? I can't call this the first uh, battle that free men of color on the north fought in because uh, it wasn't a shot fired. They just marched into the city and retook it without any resistance. But, hey, at least we have got... We have got uh, uh, so it sounds to me like it's the most successful battle. Well, you yeah, can yeah, have. yeah. That's true. Like, that's true. These are, <laughs> How could it? <laughs> you walk in and you take, take the thing, thing that you were get. trying yeah, to get. Yeah, yeah, like, but, yeah. Just because it was an easy battle doesn't mean we have to discredit them and be like, "You did it. You didn't have to kill people to get it." Like, but who cares? They got it. Well, they got it, Johnny. People they don't got have it. to die. So now we can vacation back down in Jacksonville, Florida, if that's something you want to do. Oh, thank God. I've been missing it. Can't wait for that. Oh, man. This uh, couple weeks, I'm going to go take over Jacksonville. No, you'll never catch me dead in Jacksonville. (laughs) Anyways, Johnny. Well, yeah, I think you would only be if dead if you ended up so in Jacksonville, Tommy. There's all muggy. sorts of disease and gators and uh, things that want to kill you. Lincoln is going to give amnesty, Johnny, to all Union soldiers that are currently AWOL, so long as they report back to duty by April 1st. Otherwise, they're going to be arrested in desertion, <laughs> and I don't think he's giving them enough time because, like this, this, like we're like three weeks out from April first, Lincoln. Is that enough time for this news to yeah. really get out there and really get to the men of their AWOL for them to come back? Do you no, think he, he cares? He literally just wants uh, to arrest them while still looking like the yeah, good that's, guy. that's that's yeah. You you probably he's right. like oh, I I gave them a chance. And what about the dude who I like said they could come back and die over here, but now I'm going to kill them over here. And let's be honest, like, not everybody knows what day it is right now. We don't all have calendars walking around. Uh, you know, uh, you might get... So what I'll happens if you get to the is. line and you're a day short? Be like, ah, oh, shit. Oh. Arrested now. Sorry. It is what it is. Yep. Uh, Grant is going to take Straight another to idea. He's going to throw it at the wall and see what sticks around Vicksburg. This time, he's going to try to uh, get up to Vicksburg by going through a, a tangle of bayous on the Yazoo Pass. That seems... Not the easiest way to do it. Like a bad idea. On the 11th, they're going to run into what's called Fort Pemberton, which is a hastily constructed Confederate fort made of earth swamps and cotton balls, or bales. Sorry, cotton bales, not balls. Balls would... Well, I mean... That would... It was a lot more cotton balls. It'd take a lot longer. A lot more of Cotton bales. Yeah. Uh, Harder. uh, And uh, and they are stopped in their tracks because... It's hard enough to march through a bayou, let alone a bayou that has a yeah. hastily built fort. So now he's got this fort to deal with to get behind yep. Vicksburg. So we'll see okay. how this plays out in the next couple of days. But right now, Grant's just trying whatever he can to get to Vicksburg, and none of it seems to be working. Uh, the week is going to end, Johnny, here on the 12th in Baltimore, where it is now, for whatever reason, illegal to sell pictures of Confederate generals or statesmen. First off, who's buying that? Like, if you're in Baltimore, wh- what? I don't want to buy a picture where, of some what is the market Confederate for? dude on my wall. Like, why would I want that? Why would anybody want that? What are you going to put it? picture of Lincoln on my wall. That's just weird. Do they have autographed ones? Maybe, maybe it's collector. Yeah, maybe it's autographed. Maybe it's like they uh, do a along series. Along with a $100 so. Confederate bill? Like collect them all yeah, or whatever. 
100 yeah. Mill. Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> Signed to <laughs> by, uh, by Trump. I wonder if they're using Confederate bucks to buy it these. Well, know, a, a useless piece of paper for a useless piece of paper. It's illegal. You know, it's a even Yeah, trade. it's illegal now, uh, Johnny, in, in, in Baltimore to do that. Okay. So we're freedom of speech again. I guess we're just going to continue right. to wad that up and throw that in the dumpster. <laughs> What's the Constitution? Yeah, that's not point? freedom of speech. That's freedom of possession, Tommy. And we don't have freedom of possession. We're not allowed to possess many things. Uh, people, for example, anymore if they, if, uh, all in right, some fine, areas. Fine, fine. All right, well, well, well so join much. us. Uh, join us in a little bit because uh, we're gonna we're gonna be talking about uh, the next week's stuff here uh, shortly. That's it for this week in Civil War and Hindsight. If you enjoy Civil War and Hindsight, check out Historic Hindsight. We talk about all kinds of fun things like how we thought it was a really good idea to take Dumbo and uh, militarize him. 